Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. If it don't fit, don't make it. Alright, so Scorpio, Mars and Scorpio, your time to shine, baby. And I, I know y'all don't like that, okay? I know that it's very, you like to stay in the shadows. That's just, that's part of who you are. But this is your time to shine. This is your time to grow. This is your time for action. Action. Manifestation. Celebration. Okay? So, however you choose to act here, on whatever level that is, is going to make all the difference in the world. Are we going to act hasty and reckless? Or are we going to manifest something a little different? A strength that sometimes we have to reach deep down to find. Masculine energy. The protective force behind the Empress. So... Think about how the queen had a whole army behind her, didn't she? Why do you think that is? You think it's just because she was royal? It didn't start out that way. Trust me when I say that. It didn't start out that way. She had to go into battle to earn that respect. Sometimes we got to go into battle to earn that respect and to have a whole army behind us instead of just us. And the army, in this case, is your collective. Oops. So, Scorpio. You're being faced with a brand new passionate beginning in truth about this Ten of Pentacles and what it truly is. So we got the swing here. Now you can choose to give in to falsehoods or you can choose the truth. You can choose to do your homework. You can give in to your loins too. Not saying that you, you know, I'm no judge. Whatever you want to do is fine. But seeing the truth about what this two, Ten of Pentacles truly is to you, it's the challenge here. What is it to you? Not what, what it is to the cat down the street, but what is it to you? What does it look like to you? Is it peace? Is it tranquility? Is it sitting there in your in your big luxury house with your luxury cars? Whatever it is for you. Most recent past. Something's coming back. Something that's keeping you holding on but making you wait all at the same time. Are we really going to do this? Keep you in a place where you recklessly use your sacred secretion, so to speak, in a manner that will not benefit you. Immediate future. Immediate future. Waiting, again, for your ships to come in. Waiting for your destiny to unfold as it is supposed to. This is, this is not acting reckless. This is waiting for the right time to move and how to do it. Whether that be in personal life, uh, you know, financial life, psychological life, whatever it is for you. 
you are waiting to go towards your destiny. So you can make the right choice, but don't make it from a choice of fear. If you make it from a choice of fear and worrying about you're never going to have, you're never going to have, you're never going to have, you're going to manifest more of that. And that, that, that just goes for materially. I mean, it, and, and it doesn't even, you, you can't even control a lot of that because like, you know, like I say in my, in my other videos, um, you know, I mean, you go to the grocery store and you spend $20, you get two things. Okay, so this is a manipulation on such a more, more broad level than just a personal one, All right? We have two of cups, the lovers, and the six of swords. So what are we moving into here, Scorpio? Unconditional love or too many chefs in the kitchen? Somebody you may love, and then there might be somebody else, and somebody else, and somebody else. Be real careful with that. Because this is your challenge. The swing is your challenge. Yes, there might be options, choices, and, you know, you might be moving towards those op options and choices. But get serious about where you want all your energy to flow. Even if it's just that kind of energy. I would hold on to it unless it's of your highest good. But that's just me. That you queen of swords in a lot of people right now. Hanging out to dry what no longer serves you. Intending to your garden as you should be. I love you Scorpio. You are such a <laughs> You're so strong. I love it. <laughs> Look at this. Not today, Satan. Bitch. You can hang in the back with the rest of them. Because ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going back to my gardening. You have a nice day. I'm just being for real. Like I said, it's time for you to shine, Scorpio. Figure out how you're going to do that and bring it to the forefront. It's going to be good for you. If you're a vegan, I, I've got a, I've got a, um, or vegetarian, I got a really good uh, recipe uh, for. It could be survival food, but it tastes good, you know, and, and you can freeze it and you can, yeah. So I, I might be posting that sometime this week. Um, so hopes and fears is the five of cups is disappointment, grief, endings. Endings are going to bring growth. And no matter what you put out there. You will get back. Keep that in mind at all times. That keeps you in an awareness state of your own manifestations. And you don't mismanifest. You don't throw something out there that that is not of your highest good. And I don't feel like you're doing that, Scorpio. I just feel I feel like you're definitely standing in your power here. And that is why you're holding yourself up before you move into a direction that might be recklessly challenging challenging you at this time. We got the four of pentacles, the tower, the two of swords, confusion. Oh. Oh, Scorpio, you are going to see this so clearly. Look the manipulation of the cold hard truth and what the truth truly is what's kept you guarded all this time you've been holding on to it because it's been hidden this is what's been hidden 
everybody's sharing everybody's sharing stuff that that and here's what they're sharing sharing a group of people and there's a leader haters people who want to keep you in fight or flight and they spying on you trying to keep you in a state of confusion and lack and hold you up from your true destiny which in this case is the tower I mean it's it, it, it's it's your right to drop that tower on any witch or any you know like like follow the yellow brick road but um ding dong the witch is dead wicked witch do get witch you know I I sang that song when uh I sent I actually posted it on my on my community tab when uh certain person in power passed away uh so and 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 that was exactly the song that came to me when that happened. Was ding dong, the witch is dead, the wicked witch, the wicked witch, ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. So, if you feel the need to drop your house on a witch, because, just because it, it's, it's bullshit, it's fear porn, it's bullshit, by all means, get out there and do something. Hanging on to things, a collaboration, hanging on to some kind of a, a contract here. Did you sign it, Scorpio? Or did you did you decide to go your own way? You can go your own way. Go your own way. Because this is a brand new beginning in your financial district, in your work, something that's been hidden from you probably for centuries. Because the devil, the truth is the devil has had control of this reality for most of the existence of most of the people in here now. This is what's being um, brought to the forefront the confusion about the five of cups which is grief depression feeling emotionally lost and, and Scorpio you're not the only one out there okay that is feeling that everybody on the planet is feeling that because of certain things that are being put in your face on a regular. Okay? You don't have to hurry up and do anything. You just have to stay balanced. Be ready for anything. So this could be a Leo in your past. Or it could just be having the strength over the past. And allowing those wands to fall where they may. Instead of trying to control where they fall. Hope that makes sense. The Three of Wands as the, as the immediate future. What are you waiting for? Something to be exposed. Something. What true wealth is brand new beginning in finances what the lie is somebody trying to get away with your money basically and the transformation about to take place in your life this transformation is going to happen very very quickly very quickly like I said with Mars and Scorpio Ain't nobody immune to whatever this is. Swing, ideas, new beginnings, 
new structures. The old's got to come down. You have to have the strength to let it. Okay? And we all have to work together and hold on to the belief that working together will fix what needs to be fixed, what needs to end, and the new beginning that rises from the ashes from it. What do you believe in? And what, what, what wicked witch you gonna drop your house on? <laughs> what is this Ace of, Ace of Wands about is the challenge spirit? What is this Ace of Wands about? I can't make it up, guys. Codependency on another person's acceptance to feel your worth as a sovereign, true, cold hard truth being. So you, the cold hard truth about the devil here is your challenge. Whatever that might mean to you, it is some kind of codependency, control, and obsession. And it could be very sexual. Okay? So, Scorpio, you standing in your truth, no matter how stressed you are, and listening to your higher guidance with the high priestess is your track to the wheel of fortune and empress energy. The Empress bows to no one, especially the devil. And Saturn is fixing to go direct on November 4th. Saturn is the Saturnian energy restriction. Um, it's the devil. It's obsession. It's control. It's repressed, repressed energy. Um, restriction keeping you from finding your power your true power we got two towers coming out here so I do feel like somebody that you're in love with may have broke your heart because they juggling too many people all right now I've got 333 three, three on the board. 333 three, three and 44. So somebody is messing with your money. Even if you don't know it. Check all your accounts. Make sure that there aren't no little charges here and there that you don't recognize. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel like that, that is relevant to your... Your, um situation yeah disappointed in the heartbreak that you've already experienced confused about a brand new beginning that you have coming judgment time baby judgment time what well, are you gonna let it run you two 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 are you gonna run it your emotional stability, your mental awareness, your clarity in your psychological being. Are you going to let this juggle you? Or are you going to juggle it? It is not even time to take sides. It is time to take back your energy from whatever breaks your heart. And as the outside influence, your queen is swords in that ass. I like it. I like to see this kind of strength, this kind of integrity, this kind of you ain't getting away with nothing. I see right through the lie. I see right through the illusion that the devil's been painting this whole time. And you cutting a bitch. <laughs> You might be cutting lots of bitches. Just saying. Yep. 
You cutting lots of bitches. <laughs> hmm. By the pale moonlight, baby. Queen of, queen of, you, it, it's like you cutting them out, but you loving them anyway. And this is the forgiveness, the love that we need to let go of. And I know, Scorpio, the forgiveness is hard for you. But you got to let that shit be done. Ten of swords, the lovers, and judgment. You got to let this shit be done. Let it be over once and for all. So you can manifest a higher reality for yourself and get yourself out of any kind of grief, restrictions, worry, obsessions, control because it's all that's all bullshit. You can only control yourself. And there you are. Disappointed about an illusion seven of cups by the queen of pentacles male or female don't matter somebody who bullshitted you about love could even be your own parents I mean I don't know like I said or what what this is because what I have is some really, really strong sexual energy here. And cre but see, if you take that, instead of wasting it on Harry, Joe, Dick, and Sal, or, or, or Mary, Joe, whatever. Whoever these people's names are. I, I ain't going to call any names because I really don't have any in mind. I was going to say the other one where everybody else says it. But... Your creativity of whatever you're holding on to, it could even be just an idea, is what's going to drop the how, that, that, that tower on this wicked witch. Whoever has been holding you back with spell work, and that could be in the greater spectrum, not just on a personal one. So remember to keep that in, in mind. Your creativity your queen of cups energy to forgive to love and to have the present that everybody's looking for see she's holding on to that little lamp the magic lamp it's because you hold the magic you just got to believe in that and create from that place because when you do that leads you to the wealth that you seek it may start out small, but it eventually leads to this, Ten of Pentacles. It may start out as the page, but it eventually leads you, leads you this Four of Pentacles that you're holding on to will lead you to the page and the Ten and offer. Keep going, Scorpio. You got something inside you that needs to be brought out to the world. And I suggest you look for it. You find it. It might even be your own business with the devil here. Entrepreneurship. Cold hard truth. Using that passion in a creative way instead of just wasting it on any old body. Creating from the seat of the sacral chakra. That is creation, guys. All right. Future predictions. Mature woman. Distant horizons, house, pathway, official person, and sudden wealth. Wow. Okay, so this is this is working. This is in the works. Whatever this is that was an illusion. You're see you're you're like seeing completely through it. You're ending the illusion. You are dropping a house on the wicked witch and breaking a spell that needed to be broken a long time ago. And because of that, you have now found your way to a different reality 
2220 and number 11. All right. A new reality awaits. The Ten of Pentacles awaits. Your creativity is calling to you. Because whatever has kept you stuck and in lack and in, and in, in a lie. The spell is broken now. And you can be free to cut a bitch anywhere you see fit. Anything that makes you feel sad, lonely, depressed. Anything that has an obsessive control over you. Your emotional mental and spiritual stability okay we have the coffin endings bring new beginning growth change liberation and transition time babies my baby dragons yep somebody's definitely diluting personify gas gaslighting you uh, uh, this is on a on a global scale they're not showing you the truth, even if it's just a personal one. But you're going to find out. You're going to be lighthearted when you find out things come into light, adapt, change, and heal. Mirroring each other's self-image re re relationships reflect our wounds. So trauma bonding, and um, which is trauma bonding could just be out of loneliness or it could be out of a sense of abandonment. So make sure that, like I said, you are crystal clear about why you might be chasing something. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. That gets in the way of this. This is your ascension. So you have been broken from the bonds of the devil. Now, what you going to do with it? Are you going to continue to chase things that make you feel fear and abandonment? Are you going to see the, the, the truth and be crystal clear about where, where you go next? What you do next? Like I said, be prepared spiritually, psychologically, and emotionally for whatever and you'll be on the right side of this um if you want to you can go check out my new general video it is on world energies it's up to you you know i mean make your own choices and assumptions okay we have movement choices and decisions so there's definitely some specific decisions that need to be made from a wise place and not a place of heartache and loss, but a place of balance. And then the spoken word into existence. Taking the authority in your own life through your own intuition and your own feelings and memories of love building your firm foundation whether you gotta uh like like i said um people say you're not stable if you move a lot and i say i'm stable and i move a lot it's all about your own power baby and not giving in to the devil this spiritual union has been weaponized and i want you to understand that Not that, the, not that it doesn't exist, but that it's been weaponized. And it can conti continue to keep you in a perpetual state of lack, if you allow that. Let's get some messages from Isis. Messages from Isis. Ancient power mysteries. And the Eye of Horus. This, is, this oracle guides you to honor... The power of your voice. I just had the throat chakra in my hand. 
whether through a spoken word or sung words or through what you write, speak about, or stand for symbolically. You have a very poten you have a potentially very powerful healing voice, and you are guided to recognize the responsibility that you have for what you proclaim through your voice. What are you proclaiming through your voice, Scorpio? It's really important right now. You got the Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus brings divine perception, protection, and insight. You are gifted with certain spiritual abilities, including divine sight, that are awakening and growing now. You have much divine support and protection so that you may grow your abilities and serve others with your divine gifts. Trust your perception and know that you are divinely protected. Spell is broken. Yes. Scorpio, I love you. Is it going to be coming in? Yes, it is. Yes, the sacred union is coming. Whether that be just the masculine and divine feminine within, this sacred union is coming. And because of, of, of making the right moves, trust and strategizing with spirit, as opposed to, you know, and using your own intuition, as opposed to what society or whatever pegs on you and makes you, tries to make you believe. You go in your own way. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Okay, so as an ally, the chess queen has all the tools you need to aid you in your quest for the life for a life purpose life of purpose peace and prosperity when she arrives as your ally you're given the task of asking spirit for a vision of your life ask also to know the right actions to ensure your part this process is unfolding then with a sense of trust allow the strategy to be given unto you by the divine are your own goals and desires in alignment with the divine plan for your life? This is a reminder that there is your plan and that there is a plan, divine plan for your life. When you're in, line, in alignment with the latter, all manner of messages are delivered to you to aid you in taking the next right action for your life. The chess queen says that you will win this game as long as you let spirit choose your moves. Follow your bliss and inspired messages delivered by your soul. You cannot lose when you enter the realm of the chess queen and she appears as your ally. You can't lose. As long as you're willing to keep your heart and mind open to the possibility of messages coming and whispered upon the wind... Mm -mm. you can pretty much manifest anything you want when it's not being manifested for you by outside forces which is exactly what this is all about you can choose your own power here partnerships and romance sacred union is an ally the sacred union is all about beautiful, true partnerships. It shows you that spirit is listening and is always by your side, helping you co-create your greatest desires and manifest your destiny. When you receive this ally, know that you are never alone on your path. Partnership with the divine is yours whenever you need help. This is the real sacred union the sacred union also represents the coming together of all kinds of harmonious alliances friendship family business and of course romance no matter what form they take this message pertains to, to a value of partnership and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed upon you 
by this sacred union. This is a very positive omen. So, like I said, you can drop your house on whichever wicked witch you find yourself dealing with. And keep going and co-creating with the divine. And making this energy your bitch instead of it manipulating you. Alright? Well, those are your messages, my baby dragons. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.